guys, so I'm going to teach you guys how to spread your butterflies and moths today. So you're going to want to take your butterfly out of the freezer and a couple things that you're going to need include a spreading board. You can buy expensive ones from BioQuip, but I just use this piece of styrofoam and I put two different slits in it, a smaller one and a bigger one for spreading different sized organisms. You're also going to want a little slips of paper and insect pins. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your butterfly and you're going to take the head of your pin, slip it in between the two wings, and push the wings down as best as possible to break the wing muscles and this will ensure that he'll lay flat while you're trying to spread him. And since this is a butterfly, you're going to pin him through the thorax, through the middle of the thorax. And you're going to make sure that he's as straight as possible on the pin. And then once you have him how you like him, you're going to push the pin the rest of the way through and down and into the styrofoam. And you guys can use your pinning block to determine where on the pin he should be, but I just kind of eyeballed it. And then you're going to put him in the slit in your spreading board that seems to best fit and hold his abdomen up with a couple of pins. And this is so while you're trying to spread him, he won't spin around on the pin. And then you're gonna find the pretty thick vein that runs the length of the wing margin. Gently put your pin into it and gently slide your wing up. I like stopping it about halfway, putting the pin down, and then getting a slip of paper and putting a pin at the bottom edge of the wing. And then you're going to take your pin and you're going to slide the wing up as far as you can possibly get it. And this is really tricky because you're fighting against the wing muscles and trying not to rip the wing all at the same time. So once you get it where you want it, you're going to gently put your push your pin down into the wing margin, move your other pin and your piece of paper to the bottom of where the wing now is, and then stick your first pin at the piece of paper at the top. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other wing. You can't leave your pin in the wing because when it dries, then you'll get a giant gaping hole and it won't look very nice. So I got my piece of paper. And trying to get more insect pins and I'll pin right below the wing and then right above the wing and then for the hind wings you're going to take a pin again and find the thick thickest vein on the hind wing and you're going to slide the hind wing up under the forewing and then again, you're going to take your little slip of paper and pin right along the bottom of the wing and right along the top. And this little piece of paper is a bit too long, so I pushed it to the side. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other wing. Take a little piece of paper, pin above the wing, pin below the wing. And there you have pretty crudely a pinned butterfly. You can fiddle around with it a bit more if you want. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is to prevent the abdomen from drooping. I'll take a little, another little slip of paper and slide it under the abdomen and just pin it down. You're going to want to do this for your bigger butterflies and moths and also your damselflies and dragonflies because they're so long their abdomen will droop and this is a really easy way to prevent that from happening. And then you would leave your butterfly spread like this for about a week if it's this size and if it's any bigger than this you'd probably want to leave it for about two weeks. You can speed up the process a little bit by putting them under an incandescent light bulb but you just have to be careful. A couple extra slips of paper to prevent the wings from bubbling during the drying process but that's all I did. And so here you have it a spread butterfly.